It's 5.30 a.m. February 2nd, 2022 when I'm filming this. Outside, it's minus 28 Celsius or minus 18 Fahrenheit. It's time to start the day. Gasoline is hovering and staying put at a dollar forty-one here in Manitoba per liter per gallon. I'm not too sure what that is. Is that around five dollars per gallon Canadian? So it's around four something a gallon American, something like that in the conversion. But uh, it's a lot more expensive than it used to be. That's for sure. I was just above a quarter tank, and it costed me hundred and eight dollars to fill this tank. Usually I go through between a hundred and and 10 to 120 dollars a week in gas in this puppy she's a thirsty one but hey she's not the thirstiest out there so i mean there are trucks out there that use a lot more fuel than this and you don't get a pickup for the fuel economy they are necessary out here with our uh, weather conditions and they're very handy to have so if you want to have a pickup fuel economy is not the reason you go out shopping for one <laughs> I drive about uh, 100 kilometers exactly pretty much per day but 50 kilometers each way or about 60 miles but in good weather conditions especially in the summertime when it's warmer going down the highway at highway speed this truck usually goes down to run on four cylinders so for the majority of my commute I'm running on four cylinders now, in summertime I get a lot better fuel economy and I use between 90 to 110 bucks per week so about 10 to 15 bucks less per week or so i mean we'll see how this next summer is our dollars here in canada are uh what's it at right now one canadian dollar is usually worth around like 70 to 75 cents american it goes up and down though sometimes we're at par a dollar for a dollar street light is still purple We're all waiting to see how long it's going to be before they replace these purple ones. We've got factory defects or something. I don't know. The white LED turns purple on a lot of them. This one's been like all winter already. <laughs> Not that it makes a big deal. I just think it's interesting. Well, she wasn't very happy about it, but she's going. And let her warm up and we have to hook onto that van trailer again bring it to Kenora I guess I shouldn't say again we never hooked up onto it yesterday because there was a blizzard that rolled through Manitoba it came from well it was called an Alberta clipper it came from Alberta through Saskatchewan into Manitoba and now it's in Ontario so it's moving east and shut everything down yesterday uh, pretty much all major highways in southern Manitoba were closed we couldn't get out of town unless we took the back roads and that would why would you do that <laughs> unless you had to it's an emergency but not we stayed home we had a snow day yesterday i was on call for the whole day just in case if it cleared up i'd be ready to go at any time and it just didn't clear up it was uh it was a rough rough weather day and then overnight it plummeted down in temperature so all of this fresh snow was built up everywhere in these snow drifts and then the cold set in overnight which hardens those snow drifts so now it's it's not this nice fluffy snow you think would be there after a snowstorm it's hard rock hard snow that's really cold <laughs> ah well i'm just gonna give this truck a little while to warm up and uh and we'll be on our way I'm glad she started building air and everything. It's one tough Peterbilt. She'll never die. Off we go. It's another uh, really cold day, as you heard in the morning there. We started the day off at minus 28. Uh, it's probably going to go up to about minus 23. Five degrees warmer. So I'm guessing that would be closer to... Uh, uh, minus 5 to 10 Fahrenheit, just off the top of my head. Is that gonna give her? I gotta turn right right away, so... I wanna stay in this lane if I can. Just slow down for him. 
There we go, Mr. Dooley. Show me what that F Dooley can do. F Dooley? F-250 Dooley? Is that called an F Dooley? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> so I'm going to Kenora. Same trailer. Going that way. Into our neighboring province. It's going to be a good day. A little bit cold, but that's okay. The truck's running. We're doing good. Ontario border here now. I'm pulling into the rest area. It's the Pine Grove rest area. Last rest area before you enter Ontario. I want to give the receiver a call. Just confirm that they're uh, still ready for me. And make sure everything is all lined up so that when I show up, they're not surprised to see me. trucks in here already. Oh, it's one, two, three, oh, just four. It's, it's not that big of a rest area, so it fills up real quick. I'm gonna pull off to the right here, right behind that truck, make my phone calls, and then I know. I don't have to wonder all the way there. Are they still ready for me? Is everything good? I like to confirm it, you know? And I wasn't able to reach them this morning before I left.
trucks out there keeping things moving I'm at the Manitoba Ontario border headed back to Manitoba already they got me unloaded this is the first real chance I've gotten to be able to pull in somewhere and make sure that the trailer's empty because I had to get out of their yard they closed up my doors and they needed me out of their area there right away so I said okay I'll just go down the street and I'll stop and I'll be able to you know sweep out the trailer do whatever there was nowhere to stop everything was jam-packed full of trucks everywhere so I had to come all the way down here a half hour down the road to Kenora and now we're gonna go make sure the trailer is actually empty it's gonna be awkward if it's not because then I'm gonna have to go all the way back to Kenora and be like dude you didn't get it all oh here comes the OPP Everybody smile, act on your best behavior, act natural, okay? OPP stands for Ontario Provincial Police. Uh, in Manitoba and out west, we have the RCMP, which is uh, a federal, provincial, and municipal police force out there. In Ontario here, they have their own provincial police because they're too good for the RCMP, apparently. I'm joking, but they, they, it's just a different police service, police forces, funded by the, the province instead of by the federal government. It's complicated. Oh, there they go. They're just doing a drive through Okay, looking for someone. <laughs> We're in the clear. They're not looking for us. Good. Okay, let's go check out our trailer. We should have been... Oh. So we had this big old box behind us all day. It's been following me everywhere. It's kind of annoying. But it is what it is. I don't mind being followed. It's following me really close. Okay, one second. Looks like they got it all, yeah. Good. Right on. Make sure everything's locked. I just wanted to be double sure i usually always check before i leave obviously but this was a special circumstance i hope i'm not stuck like nobody's plowed this rest area yet the snowstorm came through yesterday and i guess they haven't gotten their snow plows out here yet and the trucks have been packing it down pretty good i hope i'm not gonna be stuck i should be good Let's see right there It's a cold one out today. Got the grill all closed up. It's been around minus 30 and it's going down to minus 37 tonight. Oh, it's just awesome thinking about it. I'm so excited. All right. Whew. Just gonna use my fancy, fancy case here for my fancy $15 shades. I'm a fancy trucker. Let's get back out there on the road. We're gonna follow that, that truck over there. We're gonna go that way. See if the scale's open. There's a scale just across the Manitoba border over there. And they're gonna ask me how fat I am again. And I've gained weight and uh, I know they're gonna be disappointed. So I'm a little nervous. My truck has lost weight though, so that should compensate. I mean, I left all my weight in Kenora, but me, myself, I have Actually, you know what? I might have even lost some weight. I haven't weighed myself in a while. I've been walking as often as I can, almost every day. Uh, about an hour on the treadmill, do some running in there as well. I've been walking slash jogging for about three to four miles within an hour every day. But it's a pretty decent pace. The about three and a half miles an hour. Sometimes I do about a 10 minute run at five miles an hour or a jog. I mean, it's not the most crazy workout plan out there, but I, I think it does something. Oh good, we're not stuck. Oh, I almost had to call that bird here to come pull me out. There we go. These are the bathrooms they offer the truck drivers. Like, I'm thankful that they offer bathrooms, but come on, come on. Unless if we're allowed to go in there, but I think that place is closed right now ever since the, uh, pandemic hit uh 
I think they closed that thing down. That's sort of like a little tourist center you can learn about Ontario. Stuff like that, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, something goofy like that. It's been closed forever. Maybe they open it up, what do I know? I really don't know much. That's why I keep reminding everybody. I'm, I don't know everything. I talk like I do sometimes, but really I don't know a lot of things. There's so much to know, how can I know everything? But I do know a lot of it. One day I'll know everything. Is that guy turning in here? He's turning in here, isn't he? I put that sign right in my way so I can't see anything. Okay, all right. Oh no, the scale must be open. That truck driver's flashing his lights over there already. Why would you be warning us that the scale's open? We're gonna figure it out in two minutes when we go down the road. Watch, he's gonna flash his brights at me. <laughs> yep. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, bud, but 10-4. My best guess would be that the scale is open. Right up here. But why would you need to warn me? That's what those flashing lights are for. Maybe they're doing inspections. And what am I supposed to do about it now? Guy's flashing his lights, like, hey, they're doing inspections. It's like, oh, it's too late. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't know, maybe. Usually drivers do that when there's like an accident up ahead or something in, in the traffic that you gotta slow down for. Maybe there's a cop around the corner, like taking your picture. Or maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, something that you gotta keep your eyes out. Or maybe some wildlife on the road. Is this guy gonna flash his lights too? I think some drivers do it just to mess with us, because sometimes, like, you, you see that and you get all cautious and slow down, and then there's nothing. Oh, that's what it is. Cops. Okay. Oh, there was an accident. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, that makes sense now that the driver was flashing his lights at us. That's usually to warn us that something is coming. It's sort of like there's a hazard coming. Slow down, watch out, be aware, snap out of it. You know? Shoot, that must have just happened recently. Cause uh, that wasn't there when we went that way a few hours ago. Okay, we're gonna be a couple of really good rubber rubberneckers here, okay? Stretch out your neck, stretch your neck out, everybody. We're gonna roll the window down and everything. We're gonna do this right. the joke hey you can't park there bud but last time I did that people said that was mean I thought it was funny I didn't want to be mean this time so I didn't say it okay you're welcome but good news for us the scale is closed how did that happen how did that happen this lane is dry clear and dry how did you end up over there in the median Canadian truckers know exactly what happened, I think. Somebody missed the driveway. <laughs> Whoops. Or you weren't paying attention. One of those. But at least the police are there to check on them and we know they're okay. Manitoba! Woo! Feels good to be home. I missed you. I was gone for like two hours. Nice little scenic section. This is a protected land. This is a protected area. It's a national or no, provincial park. This is West Hawk Lake here. And there's Falcon Lake just a little ways down the road too. A lot of cabins out here. There's a lot of people with a lot of money that uh, have their summer summer houses out here on the lakes. A lot of hockey players, a lot of NHL players, a lot of, uh, 
lot of people who must do something different than me because I can't afford a cabin out here. <laughs> but I bet you something. I bet you something. I bet you I enjoy doing my job more than they enjoy doing theirs. At least I have fun every day. sign say I've never seen that sign prevent chronic wasting disease do not transport unprocessed wildlife well you're not supposed to transport it how are you supposed to get it home to process it you're supposed to process it right there in the bush I mean some people do that right you know no Metro Pass is really busy. It's supposed to drop down really cold tonight and everybody wants fuel. Yikes, I've never seen the lineups this long. We're out onto the road. Yikes. Sheesh. Don't tell anyone I said that. Yeah, well, I guess we're all just uh, hanging out here now. Wow, look at all these trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven trucks. Looks like a lot more, though, eh? <laughs> Yikes. So we all just gotta wait. I've never seen it this busy. Yikes. Oh, Joe. I got home a little late today. And Chevy. Hey, hey, I was gonna pet you. We had a stretch. One second. Oh, yeah. That's better. Man, you go back in the supper time already, eh? Go back a little later than usual. Oh, it's 20 to 8. I just showered. And, uh, huh, it's about time to go to bed almost. 8 o'clock's my bedtime. Though I very, very rarely ever actually get to bed at 8 o'clock, but that is my bedtime. Temperature tonight is supposed to drop down to minus 37. I think I've mentioned that already. So we'll see where things are at in the morning. When I get up at 5 in the morning, it's supposed to be a balmy minus 37. Uh, wind chill is probably going to be down around minus 50. Who knows? I don't think my block heater is working in my pickup truck, so we'll see what happens. Ah, thanks for watching today, everybody. It was a fun run to Kenora. We're going to do it again tomorrow, except doing something different. We're grabbing a flatbed. We're going to drag an empty flatbed out to Kenora, and we're going to grab something and put something on it, and tie it down and bring it back. I might have to tarp it in the cold. So please, come join me tomorrow. Subscribe on the channel here. Uh, come keep me warm. Come keep me company. I'll see you then. <laughs>